Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video and today I have a bit of spare time so I thought I'd do something quick and simple. I'm going to be showing you how to build this small, fairly decorated medieval fountain so I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I would much appreciate it if you do. So without further ado, let's begin. Right guys, so here we are ready to begin on this lovely flat surface area and we're going to start by just cutting out the shape of the fountain. So copy what I do, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, corner, 1, 2, 3, corner, 1, 2, 3, corner, 1, 2, 3 and corner. So now that we have the initial shape, we're just going to basically cut this out and make it two blocks deep. So now very straightforward, grab some oak wood planks and fill up the bottom of this fountain. Now I used a mixture of oak wood and dark oak wood to create the frame of the fountain. So basically place two blocks of oak wood and then on each corner place dark oak wood, so oak wood and then dark oak wood and follow this pattern all the way around the fountain and this is what you should end up with. So now you can fill up the remaining space using some cobblestone and some cobblestone wall and do this another three times, one, two, and three and now grab some cobblestone full blocks and as from the center of the fountain you're gonna place four blocks so one two three and four so now grab some cobblestone stairs and make your way around the top edge of the cobblestone block and then grab some stone brick stairs and place them upside down just like this and then place it again but this time leave a gap. Now the idea for this fountain was to give it as much detail as I could but keep it small in size and the only way to do this was to use a bunch of different things including pressure plates, trapdoors, etc. So the first thing you need to do is grab some weighed pressure plates and place them on top of each oak block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and that already looks a lot nicer kind of gives it this medieval viking style look next if you grab some normal pressure plates you can place them on top of the upside down stone brick stairs i also grab some trap doors and place them underneath the cobblestone stairs and another thing i did was i grabbed some buttons and placed them underneath the trap doors Obviously, don't forget to finish off the fountain by adding some water. I mean, I doubt you're going to forget, but obviously add it and also make sure that the water level is level and not actually flowing in all directions. Now, although this has nothing to do with the initial structure of the fountain, it's also very important to add some extra detail such as miniature chest. This is actually a retextured head and if you do want this texture pack, you can download it from the link in the description. Also be sure to add a flower pot, um, that also adds a nice bit of detail. Um, obviously, you know, add some random stuff, some grass, you can mix and match some gravel and stone on the floor. And it kind of obviously depends where you're going to place the fountain, but it would do quite well in any town or city. Right guys, and one last tip, if you do want to light up the fountain without actually exposing the glowstone, 
you could place it two blocks deep like so and place a hopper on top of it and that will actually hide the glowstone but still actually expose the light and you could create a pattern just to make it a lot nicer and this actually gives it even that extra bit of detail right guys so that is it for today's quick tutorial video i really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe i would much appreciate it if you do and if you do want more tutorial videos be sure to check out my channel and you can check it out under the tutorial playlist so once again thank you for watching this is jerocraft over and out.